CME Info's continuing education and board certification programs bring the conference to you. The following is a video sample from Oak Stone Medical Publishing's Psychiatry Board Review Course for certification and recertification. This excerpt is from course director John Kutras's lecture titled, Child Psychiatry. Autism, we'll start with PDD, um, disruptions in the, or abnormal development in general, and uh, the autism specific criteria are th in three major areas, social interaction, so eye contact, peer relationships, uh, reciprocity, thinking, we talked about um, the theory of mind concepts so a couple of days ago, communication, uh, language, and uh, repetitive and stereotyped behavior. So there needs to be a delay or, or, uh, or inadequate speech uh, developmentally. So three major areas, as you can see, what happens here is that the language criteria basically drop out. The uh, PDNOS criteria, basically it catch all, doesn't seem like, so these are some examples of things that might not actually have, have you know, have resulted in the person not meeting autism or Asperger's. And usually the thing about Asperger's is that there isn't a stereotypical activity or interest or, and you know, that's one of the Asperger's criteria. So, but there is uh, poor functioning uh, socially and there's no major language delay. So they kind of fall into this category. And of course, because it's such a large catch of, of on the spectrum, it may be twice as common as autism. So the prevalence is one in 500 or less for narrow spectrum, autism spectrum disorders. So the kids that you and I all know, uh, the kids that can be recognized even by sitting in a waiting area, the ones who are nonverbal, poor eye contact, uh, possibly it could be, this really should be as high as one to 150. But anyway, obviously the prevalence is increasing as, 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 as determined by CDC investigation. We'll go very briefly into maybe some reasons behind that. Obviously, one of them is improved detection and education. PDD rate, um, so in England, here's some numbers there. 400,000 individuals in the U.S., and of course, the main thing here is male to female is four to one for, P for PDD, autism spectrum disorders. And as defined by an idea of a pervasive developmental disorder, it needs to occur before three years old. Otherwise, it's not a, that's the period of rapid development, most rapid development, and obviously if that's not impaired, then it's not a, PD, a PDD picture. You should look for other, definitely for other organic etiologies of somebody starting to, to become worse in their social functioning. So, you know, this is a, a, obviously a simplified diagram. Nonverbal learning uh, disability or disorder is uh, basically, um, it, and I'll, I'll show you in a couple slides how it fits in, but it's basically uh, uh, problems with performance IQ and what that's felt to also translate to, and I'm not a psychologist, but translate to is uh, uh, pragmatic skills of interactions and, uh, and, and language. So in other words, not understanding things that would be the art of conversation, what the other person might be thinking. These children oftentimes, they escape detection but are easily exploited by their peers because they don't understand ulterior motives, even though they have otherwise normal intention. They just don't get the subtleties. And so they're the least severe. This is very interchangeable. And perhaps I should change the slide to just put another arrow there. Because PDD, NOS, and Asperger's, some kids fit as being milder than Asperger's. Some fit as being more severe than Asperger's. But the thing with PDD, NOS kids typically is that they don't have, again, stereotypical interests. They might have things they really like. I mean, all these kids probably, for the most part, do better with interacting with media than, than individuals. So, uh, and you know, the devices and so forth. But Asperger's uh, has a stereotypic interest or play pattern. And, you know, the classic stuff is a kid that could recite, for example, all the statistics involving baseball, yet not understand why somebody would be really that interested in another team win winning, not kind of, kind of getting what they're, why they would be interested in that. Top quality board certification reviews and continuing education programs, guaranteed. For more information about this self-study activity, go to www.cmeinfo.com slash 760V or call us at 1-800-284-8433.